The planets are aligning tonight, and you may be able to catch a glimpse of it in the sky over Michigan. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune will all be visible in some form. This planetary parade won't happen again for more than a decade, according to NASA. So you'll want to make sure you're ready at 6 o'clock tonight with your binoculars or telescopes ready in a dark place. The best view will be to the western horizon. Although, Sarah's tracking more wet weather in West Michigan today. So, Sarah, what are the chances for stargazers to yeah. see this? Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like a slam dunk for us. We'll definitely have to compete with some clouds and the potential of some scattered showers. But, again, here's the lineup that we're working with. Saturn and Mercury may be a little bit too low for us or low in the horizon to view. And then you're going to need a telescope uh, to view some of them as well. Mars, Jupiter, and Venus should have the best chance of being seen. And, again, all those seven planets lining up in what they call a parade, the unofficial term. So here's a closer look again around that 6 to 6.30 hours when you're going to want to start to view these. We have our sunset at 6.31 tonight. And during that 6 o'clock hour, that's actually the time frame that we get clipped by just a couple showers. And right along with those showers will come some cloud cover out there as well. This continues to pass through, and then those winds shift, continue to be quite breezy from the northwest, pulling in some colder air, cold enough that we could start to see some snow showers as we move into Saturday there as well. For now, though, we are dry. If you're headed out the door, no concerns. All those snow showers that we got clipped by in the Big Rapids area now off to our east. The winds are the huge factor, and we'll continue to see those wind gusts as we head through tonight as well as into tomorrow morning, ranging anywhere from about 35 to 45 mile per hour gusts, even could get a little bit more than that. Finally, by Saturday afternoon, we look to quiet down just a little bit, but I'd still call it a breezy day as a whole out there. Want to show you our future cast here. I know I just showed you that clipper system that will give us a chance for some showers tonight night, but I want you to focus in on those temperatures as well. As this cold front sweeps through, we drop pretty quickly. Those temperatures continue to fall overnight to near about 20 degrees tomorrow morning, and unfortunately, we don't see a whole lot of improvement from there. We'll see teens in the mix, again, cold enough to see some of that snow sticking at the lakeshore, and then finally into Sunday, we level out a little bit. We'll be on trend with a bit more towards where we should be at this point in the month. So looking at that temperature drop again, our high temperature in the upper 40s this afternoon, Sunday morning low temperature 16 degrees so that's 32 degree drop in just about 36 hours so definitely a change of pace for us now the snow amounts are going to be relatively minimal and again areas west of 131 have the best chance of seeing some of these flurries stick around most areas at the lakeshore will get away with about one to three inches and again that begins overnight and carries through about Saturday afternoon so certainly nothing we can't handle after what we've seen so far this winter cold this weekend 27 is your high on Saturday we're up to 32 on Sunday it will look nice on Sunday. We're expecting a lot of sunshine in the mix. A chance for some sprinkles on Monday. A little bit of uncertainty with that system before we'll track some showers moving in Tuesday, Wednesday. And we even could have some thunderstorms in the mix overnight that we're watching. As temperatures cool into Thursday morning, that's when we could see some snowflakes once again make a return. And we're a little bit cooler by the end of next week as we see those high temperatures top off in the mid to upper 30s.